I'm getting like a little bit of the whiskey chest going. Hilarious. Wow. I, I say that all the time about funny stuff. It's literally whiskey chest. Well, today is going to be a first for me. Uh, today, we're going to be trying some Carolina Reaper whiskey uh, at 10.57 a.m. Uh, so this is the, the amazing people at, uh, I hope I'm not saying their, I'm saying their name correctly, uh, Henneberry, 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 uh, Distillery, um, out of California. It's a Carolina Reaper Pepper flavored whiskey. Interesting. So is it infused? Is it flavored? Is it hot? It says extra hot right on the side. Uh, super intrigued. I've never said, uh, it, I don't think I've said yes to an email so fast. Uh, they reached out to me and they're like, you want to try our Carolina Reaper whiskey? And I'm like, yes, please. Um, to the fine folks over there, they sent me uh, the Reaper whiskey. They sent me the regular whiskey, two homemade hot sauces, some hand sanitizer, t shirt They hooked it up. So I've had this for a little bit and I'm finally getting to it. So I'm super intrigued to try this. Um, I'm interested to see how hot it is. Um, I'm not like a... I drink some, a little bit of, uh, I like whiskey and bourbon, you know, like I live, I live in Ohio directly across the, the, um, uh, the border from Kentucky. So I have access to some pretty darn good bourbon and I bring bourbon on backpacking trips and whatnot. But, uh, I'm, anyways, I'm very interested to see how this whiskey tastes. Um, all right, you're holding a one of a kind fine spirit handcrafted in extremely small batches. This bottle contains rye whiskey produced and matured on site in newly charred American oak barrels with the addition of Carolina Reaper Pepper, a.k.a. the fruit of the capsicum Chinese plant. Uh, spice up your life with our Reaper Rye Whiskey. I like rye, too. I like ryes. Uh, Dare Maxima Virtus. Celebrated since 1851. Uh, batch 1, bottle 69. Okay, so we're going to try it straight up. I don't have any of my fancy glassware with me today, but we're going to... Try it in this old, not old, we're gonna try it in this little beer tasting glass. Oh, that's a good pop. So, all right, let's see. It just smells like whiskey. It smells delicious. It smells like, it smells good. And so, okay, I'm not a, I'm not, I don't think I can do justice like trying to review a whiskey. So I'm going, we're, we're only talking heat here. I can tell you I, I enjoy it and I can tell you if it's hot or not. But as far as like tasting notes, I'm going to leave that to somebody else because that is not my expertise. I'm definitely getting the whiskey. I'm getting, it smells like a rye whiskey. Um, I'm not getting any, I'm not getting peppers. Uh, so I might actually like this a whole lot. So we'll do a little bit of a tasting right there. So it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm not trying to get wiki wild with it here, people. Okay. So... Trying to see if I can discern any pepper at all from it. Maybe a hint. See, I don't want. I, I don't like the flavor of Reaper. So if it doesn't taste like Reaper, but it's got some heat going on, like this might be absolutely delicious. And I have an idea of what I want to do with this. And we're gonna get there in a second. Let's see how it goes. Cheers. Ooh. I see. Oh, ho! there it is. Fabulous. Wow. First of all, I really enjoy the whiskey. Um, I like rye. It's got a fantastic flavor profile to it. Like I said, I'm not going to get into it, but um, it's got like this hot heat to it, but not to it a point where you want to like add a little bit of water or anything like that to kind of like calm it down. Now, as far as the heat of the Reaper goes, it's definitely there, 100% there. Feel in the back of my throat. No flavor of the Reaper, just the heat of the Reaper. Um, this is exactly what I would be looking for. So, man, you could drink this straight up, like on the rocks a little bit, if you want like a little bit of that added heat to it. But, man, I can even feel it in my... I'm getting like a little bit of the whiskey chest going. Hilarious. Wow. I, I say that all the time about funny stuff. It's literally whiskey chest. Um, with the, um, the the Reaper heat. like it, it, Reapers always affect me and they go like straight to my gut basically. Um, and I'm definitely getting that here. Um, as far as like the potency of Reapers, I would say that this is like, 
on like the medium to like, I'd say solid medium. Like this is not going to like rock you, knock your socks off. But there's absolutely 100% reaper heat here. Okay, I want a little small little taste again. Wow. And then the heat comes, so you get the... <coughs> Woo! So you get, the, you get that whiskey flavor, and then... So you, so you get the whiskey, and then you get that internal throbbing reaper burn. Um, this is very well done, in my opinion, exactly the way I would want it. It's not one of those like novelty products where it's like Reaper and the, and the Reaper is not there. It's 100% there. It's not one of those products where it's like going to absolutely like destroy you. Like this is not a challenge. This is a pleasant experience. Okay. I have an idea of exactly how this should be used. And I'll be right back. And that idea is hot chocolate. So for a holiday gift this year, I received a homemade hot chocolate mix basically and I'm going to do a simultaneous review of one of my uh, my family members hot chocolate with some Carolina Reaper bourbon because I think that'd be uh, that would work out fantastically okay so uh, in a previous life I was actually a bartender for like 13 years so I don't have a pour spout with me but I'm gonna put about an ounce of this in here I feel like that's be about appropriate it's about an ounce that did it in me for a little bit that's that is some warming stuff. Stir it up a little bit. It's got these nice little homemade, mar not homemade, but these like these like cocoa covered marshmallows on top. Looks great. I made the hot chocolate with oat milk. If you're not making your hot chocolate with oat milk, you're blowing it. Okay, that should be well mixed. Let's see how that affects the heat or the overall just wonderfulness that is going to be this hot chocolate. I'll tell you that right now. That is the way to do that. I'll tell you that right there. Mm. Okay. So, I mean, it's a standard delicious hot chocolate. But you immediately get this, like, warming heat from the whiskey chased by, like, ever so slight amount of that, uh, that Reaper. Uh, clearly, it's way more present straight up. So, all right. My preference between the two. I'm going to say, in a perfect world, I'm drinking this with a big old chunk of ice and a nice glass, a nice little pour of it, and I'm just going to drink it straight up because it's just got this, like, warmingness to it, and it chases by this Carolina Reaper heat, but not overpowering. Uh, if you want to make a hot chocolate or a cocktail out of it, this would be actually be really, really nice with, like, a Manhattan um, situation going on. Um... Fantastic. Yeah, it, it would work so good in cocktails. Anything you want to like add a heat, add some heat to. Really can't speak high enough about how well this is done. Um, it's not novelty heat. It's not overpowering heat. It's the perfect amount of heat that you want to have. So you get that warming from the whiskey situation, and then you get the Reaper. It's just so well done. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much to the fine folks in Penterbury uh, Distillery for sending this over. So insanely kind of you to send this and all of your products that you sent over. Thank you so much. Um, in the description below will be a link to them. So you can uh, you can check this out as well. Um, I know that, I think they're only doing uh, pickup uh, at the distillery in California, but you might be able to get your hands on it somehow, some way. Regardless, you can check it out. Um, really, really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. So if you guys could recommend more products like this, I'm definitely into trying them. So hope you enjoy. See you guys in the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.